Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I'll be showing you what some of the most common errors in World Gen data packs are, and how to find out what's wrong from the error log and how to fix them. Since these are just the ones that I can think of, you might not be able to find your answer in this video. If so, you can ask me in the comments or you can join my Discord server. But if you are looking for a specific error, you can check the timestamps to see if it's there and then click on that to get to the relevant part of the video. Before I start the video, I'd like to thank the video sponsor, mcmodels.net. This is the second time they sponsored one of my videos and I am really grateful for that. I'll talk about them more later on in the video. So I've showed this before in one of my videos, but something you're really going to want to do is go to settings and then go to launcher settings and make sure that open output log when Minecraft Java edition starts is checked um, because that is what you're going to need to find most of the errors in this video. So then I'm just going to uh, go ahead and click play and the minute the Minecraft launcher closes, you'll see this output log shows up. One other helpful thing to note as my game is updating is that Visual Studio Code and the Datapack Helper Plus extension are really helpful for creating data packs like this. For example, as you can see, if I go ahead and um, make a typo in any of the files, it'll tell me what the problem is uh, and where it is because you can see that this curly bracket is underlined in red, so you know that the error is somewhere within this curly bracket. So. Uh, that gets a lot more helpful in longer files. So the first problem is if you paste the data pack into here and it doesn't even show up in your select data packs, you know the problem is most likely with your file structure or pack.mc meta. I've got an error in pack.mc meta. So if I fix this so there is no error here uh, and I make sure that my file structure is correct. So this will likely be an error with um, either missing a data folder or missing pack.mc meta or having them in the wrong locations. As long as that is fixed, then I can go ahead and copy this folder again, open the pack folder, delete this pack, paste in this pack, and then as you can see, the data pack shows up here now. So as you can see, uh, I now have a second error. My data pack validation has failed. So if I go into the output log, uh, you can see this big block of text here and most of this you're going to want to ignore. So anything that starts with all of this stuff is not going to be helpful. Um, what you're going to want to look at is failed to validate data pack, which is what the error is. Error loading registry data, no key properties in map like name equals Minecraft grass block. Um, so that doesn't tell you where the error is occurring. So you're going to have to find name Minecraft grass block in your files. And so, let me just check that. That's probably in your Surface Builder, which, well, what do you know? Here's the Surface Builder. As you can see, this one's kind of hard to catch because you have no error. You need to remember that every time you have a block provider, you're going to need to put properties. As long as the block that you are trying to place has a specific property, that must be defined. I'm going to save this and try it without the required property, and you'll see that that won't work either. So I'm going to try to approve it again. It'll say data pack validation failed. I'm going to look in the log. Oh, and this time it didn't work. I'm going to do go back and try again, because sometimes the error log does not work. And log the correct error. So there we go. That should work this time. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we've got the whole um, error thing here. So this is a very similar error. Uh, it says failed to validate data pack, error loading registry data, no key snowy in map like, and that means that you are missing a property somewhere. So I'm going to go back to properties, and since it says no key snowy, I have to type in snowy and then set that property. So because I want non-snowy grass blocks, I'm going to set this to false. This will not always be a problem with the surface builder. It can also be problems with features and other stuff. And so depending on what this key is, since it's snowy, uh, you know that it's a block that has the snowy property. So you should be able to relatively quickly find that in your folder to see if it's missing that. So this will not always be a block provider in your Surface Builder, but it will usually be something similar to that. So that will help you find where that error is. Before I get into the next common error message, I'd like to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, mcmodels.net. 
They're a quality controlled website where people can sell stuff that they make for Minecraft, mostly things like entity and item models, but there's also other resource packs and world downloads and a lot more stuff there. The site is really helpful and I wouldn't advertise something that I didn't think was a good and quality product. So you can know that I really do think that this is a really good site and I think they're really helpful to many server owners who want to create a better server. Hello, welcome to MC Models. Your one-stop shop for all server resources. We have everything from custom item models, schematics and mythic mobs bosses, to model engine mobs, decorations and NPC voice packs. If you've never used custom models or need help with model engine, we have easy to follow tutorials on a ton of subjects, as well as great community support and commission requests on our public Discord server. What are you waiting for? Make your server better today. There's a link to their website and Discord server in the description, so I recommend checking that out. All right, now back to the video. So here I've got another error. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the relevant error, and as you can see, uh, it says fail to validate data pack and then fail to parse uh, world gen configured feature feature.json. And the error is an unterminated object at line 24, column 55. So you know that um, that is going to be in this file that it mentions here and at this location. So in Datapack Helper Plus, uh, it tells me where the error is, but um, just for the sake of showing you how to find the error, I'm not going to use that. And again, it tells me where the error is here. That's going to be in worldgen configured feature feature.json. So that is what this file is, because you can see it's in worldgen configured feature feature.json, and it's at line 24, column 55. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until line 24, and all the way over until number 25, and you can see that I have a number here where I'm not supposed to have a number. So I'm just going to delete that and save, and as you can see, the error goes away, and the data pack will work now. Here I have got another error. Here you can see that there is an error loading registry data, there is a missing value, uh, in WorldGen Configured Carver, and it is looking for Minecraft CVE, where it should be Cave. So you can see that uh, it is looking for Minecraft CVE and Minecraft Canyon in the uh, air parameter. So that would be in Carvers, because that's where Cave and Canyon are, so I just have to fix that, and that is what fixes the error. So another problem, again, in my game output log, I'm going to have to scroll down again to find the um, problem again. So I should be clearing all logs before every time that I start up the world because that will clear all of the previous errors in the log. Um, so the current one is again error loading registry data, missing value, um, world gen configured surface builder, frost icy wastes, which means it is not able to find the frost icy wastes file in world gen configured service builder. And that is the same problem as up here. Uh, it is not able to find Minecraft CVE in configured carver, except that this one is it isn't able to find one of your files. And that is usually either because you made a typo in a file that is trying to find this file. You can see that the actual configured surface builder file is icy wastes with two S's. Except my biome is looking for it with only one S. Let's see, where is that? Right here. So the biome wants frost icy waste with one S, and the actual folder has two S's. So that's what this means. That means it's looking for icy waste with one S, and it cannot find it in the correct folder, which is a world gen configured surface builder. Um, so that means either you have to rename the configured surface builder to what it has in uh, this file. I lost it again. Uh, right here, or you have to change this to the name of your file. So I'm going to just fix it by changing this to the name that um, the biome folder wants. And of course, this won't only be between biome and configured surface builder. It could also be, for example, a feature, or it could be a uh, structure, or it could be anything like that. So this one is a much harder one. If I open up the error log, you're going to see it says failed to validate data pack. The only error it gives that is worth anything is java.lang.nullpointerexception. And so from my experience, this just means there is a typo somewhere and data pack helper plus isn't going to pick up on it. 
So you're just going to have to go through all of your code and figure out where the error is. In my case, uh, this should be ice spikes instead of ice spikes, but it could also be um, any error anywhere in this file. So I think that is a bug that it isn't telling you that the biome doesn't exist, but that is what this bug usually means. The null pointer exception is just usually that you have an error or a typo somewhere. Um, and it took me a really long time to find to figure out what this was once. It usually just means some small typo that you made that's going to be really hard to find. So this one is a special kind of error that's going to be hard to catch um, because the game is not going to realize that it's an error until it tries to load the dimension. So let me just do slash execute in... And as you can see, my dimension does not show up. So if I go over to the error log, you can see error reading world gen settings after loading data packs, value 4.0 outside of range 0 to 1. So that means somewhere in your files, um, you have the number 4, where 4 should not be allowed to even be in that value. And uh, in my experience, data pack helper plus does not catch this for some reason. So what I have here is I've set the offset for the biome to four when it should be between one and zero. And so this is going to be another tricky one to find because you're not going to be able to do it unless you just read through all your code and are able to find the problem. And that's why it really helps to test often just to see when something got messed up. Um, because as you can see here, it doesn't even tell you where the error is in uh, or in which file or anything. Here is another error that the game will not catch when trying to load your world, and this is actually probably going to crash my game. So I'm going to create a new world, and this problem is with structures, so it won't happen right away, but it might as soon as I load a structure. All right, this generated a regular village. I wanted to generate the Frost Outpost. All right, I'm going to try with a single biome world. And this should just do it on world startup, or maybe I'll have to fly around a little bit first. All right, here we go. Um, don't know how long it's going to take for me to accidentally load the structure that's going to crash the game. So maybe I should cheat and use a command. Oh, there it is. See, my game just crashed. Um, well, so you can see in the error log... Um, Process crash with exit code negative one, and I'm gonna have to scroll all the way up. You can see it says unknown block type Minecraft at position zero, uh, and then there's probably going to be a little bit more up here. Yeah, unknown block type Minecraft at position zero. Um, so you can see that this is in the feature placement, which means it's a problem with either a structure or a feature. So the problem is some kind of block type parameter inside of something. And so that is most likely inside of a structure MBT file, in my experience. And that might be the only place it can occur. So let me start up Minecraft again to show the error. So here I am in this world. I've got the Frost Outpost structure. As you can see, uh, the problem is to do with this jigsaw block. In the turns into field, there is um, a non-valid Minecraft block. So one of the ways I've seen this before is people will do like netherrack and spell netherrack wrong because if you go into your inventory and search netherrack you will see that it has two r's in it um so it can be either a spelling error or it can be just some other type of block that doesn't exist but the game does not catch that because it doesn't go over nbt files when trying to uh, load up the game so it won't look through all the jigsaw blocks in there so um yeah, you're basically going to have to go through all of your structures uh, that have a jigsaw block that has whatever this block is. So it says Minecraft like this because there are spaces in here, but uh, probably you're going to get, it's going to say unknown block type Minecraft and then, for example, netherrack with one R. So that should help you find which jigsaw block that is a problem with. So that's it for this video. Those are all the common error messages that I could think of and how to fix them. If you're having an error message that isn't in this video, then you might be able to figure it out by reading it. Just remember, um, there's usually only a small line at the beginning that is actually helpful to you. Otherwise, you can either look it up 
or you can join my Discord and ask me there because I might be able to help. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, or you have any suggestions for future videos, you can give me those in the comments, or you can join my Discord and give them to me there. I'd also like to thank mcmodels.net again for sponsoring this video. I really do think that their site is super helpful, and I will also be writing a tutorial on their site to go with this video, which will also be linked in the description. We've passed 350 subscribers since the last video, and I know I keep saying this, but it really means so much to me. Thank you guys so much, and thanks for watching.